This one is one that you guys have probably thought about asking, and a lot of you I know have asked before, so I'm gonna answer it. Where does the scar on my lip come from? <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Alex, I'm one half of the Vaga Brothers, and this video is a video I probably should have done a long time ago, but hey, better late than never. 15 things you don't know about me. First things first, my nickname from when I was a kid is Flanders. We had some neighbors, and when I would go over to their house, they were obsessed with The Simpsons, and so he'd open the door and be like, hello Flanders, Alexander, Flanders, I hope I bear zero resemblance to Ned Flanders, but hey, that was my nickname back in the day. When I was a kid, I was a little bit overweight, so I always have the fat kid still inside of me, especially when we do some of our food content, Michelin star restaurants, you know, 10 course meals, throw it at me. Number three, when I was a kid, I had a mullet. I didn't choose to have a mullet. My parents actually gave me a mullet because I'm an 80s baby. I was born in 1988 on March 15th, the Ides of March. And when I became aware that I had a mullet, I actually grabbed a pair of scissors and cut my own mullet off. When I was really young, I wanted to be a veterinarian. As I got a little bit older, I wanted to be a fighter pilot. Next up, I'm fluent in Spanish. I speak conversational-ish French and the same with Portuguese. Entonces yo hablo español, me encanta hablar en español. Ahora mismo siento que estoy perdiendo lo que he aprendido antes porque vivía tres años en España y durante este tiempo estuve viviendo ahí, hablando cada día en español, viviendo en español. Entonces me gustaría seguir practicando y aprendiendo, pero ahora mismo, bueno, así es. I speak English on the day-to-day, -day, but I would like to continue speaking Spanish and continue learning French and Portuguese. I love to speak in accents. Our dad's from New Zealand, so I kind of grew up with his voice in my head, and then I always was trying to imitate his accent, and that, for some reason, allowed me to do a really good Australian accent. Like, my Australian accent is just absolutely on point. Uh, it's probably got something to do with, you know, me and the mates heading down the beach. Although I do find myself almost constantly speaking in a British accent. It's like, I can't really help myself because I just really just love the way that it sounds. And then Scottish is also one of my go-to. Scottish is just a little bit lower and deeper and slower. But as Irish, it's just a little bit faster and a little bit higher. You gotta speak a little bit quicker when you're over there in Ireland. And Carrie and I, my girlfriend. Oh, that's the next thing you didn't know about me. I have a girlfriend, her name is Carrie. She is rad. She is also a YouTuber. Her channel is Carrie Rad. Go subscribe. Oh, what number is that? Uh, I've lived in multiple countries. I lived in California when I was growing up in San Diego. I went to school at UC Santa Barbara and lived there for a couple of years. And then I studied abroad in Dunedin in New Zealand. I'm a dual citizen of New Zealand. I was studying at the University of Otago and then I spent a winter working and bartending in Queenstown and just snowboarding as much as possible. This one is one that you guys have probably thought about asking, and a lot of you I know have asked before, so I'm gonna answer it. Where does the scar on my lip come from? Well, when I was 22, I went to a barbecue at my friend's house in San Diego. His sister ran a dog sitting company, so she had a lot of dogs, and one of their dogs was named Bingo. He's a big blue tick coon hound. I was saying hello to Bingo. He said hello back to me, but just a little bit closer uh, than I would be comfortable with, and ended up snapping right onto my lips. Um, his bite split my bottom lip uh, basically like that so I could see my teeth through my mouth when it was closed. I ended up having to go and get 80 something stitches and because I had been having beers at the barbecue, they couldn't give me uh, an anesthetic so I had to sit through that for like two and a half hours as they stitched my face back together. So that was a very unpleasant, uncomfortable memory. But the doctor uh, did a great job and you know what? Shit happens in life and sometimes you just gotta suck it up and keep moving forward. 
I love surfing. Surfing is for me my favorite sport. It's my unplug. It's my opportunity to get into nature. Uh, when I first started making videos, it was doing like outdoor expeditions and backpacking. I'd really like to get back to that. So I love to surf and I like skateboarding and snowboarding. Basically anything with a board involved, I'm all for it. Some of my other obsessions are fly fishing. Lately I've gotten super into that. I don't get to do it enough. I've recently gotten super into motorcycles as well. In 2013 I saw a magazine article about the BMW F800 GS. Since then I just started saving. Pretty much doing like a little piggy bank. About six months ago I finally saved up enough to purchase a BMW F800 GS. My dream is to ride a motorcycle around the world and to vlog it. Something else you may not know about me, horseradish is my arch nemesis. Why would you put horseradish on anything? Favorite book is The Alchemist. If you haven't read this by Paolo Coelho, you should definitely do it. If you're wondering about what you wanna be in life and how to achieve your dreams, this book is a simple but brilliant uh, solution to that. It helps you find your way. I read it for the first time in 2010, after which I decided to walk the Camino de Santiago. It really clarified the path to achieving my dreams. Strange but true, I am one of the few people I know who actually enjoy going to the dentist. I love it. Getting my teeth scraped, I love that. Come on, scrape it. I can kind of play guitar. I'm also pretty decent at freestyling. I need a beat though, you can't just like beat. You can't just acapella. You can't just put the spotlight on a fella to drop an acapella, but maybe I can because I don't have a plan. I'm just sitting here speaking to the camera, wondering, Okay, yeah, beep. Next thing you didn't know about me is that I am a solitary person. Believe it or not, Marco and I are always together, but I really do value my personal time. I think that solitude allows you to better understand yourself. When I did the Camino de Santiago, I walked that alone. It was 30 days and over 800 kilometers of walking, and it was one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. Favorite wine is a Malbec always going red over white. When I finished college, I moved to Spain to teach English. I lived my first year in Pontevedra in Galicia, and then I spent two years in San Sebastian in the Basque Country. Opa Euskadi, te amo. The last thing is that that is not 15 things. Mathematics was my least favorite class in school. I sucked at it, and when I went to college at UC Santa Barbara, I studied history and cultural anthropology. A lot of people ask me, hey, Alex, what are you gonna do with that major? You're not gonna be able to get a job. But hey, you know, I followed my passion and my passion has led me here to filmmaking and storytelling. Sometimes you have to ignore advice from people around you who are telling you not to do something you feel passionate about and just follow your heart. On that note, I'm gonna wrap things up. That was 15 or 20 or 25 things you didn't know about me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I really want to start connecting more personally with you guys. So if you don't already, check out my Instagram account. It's Alex the Vagabond. Follow us on all of our socials. Tweet us, say what's up, Snapchat us. Um, and yeah, drop a comment because I'm really curious to, to hear from you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And uh, in the meantime, remember to stay curious, keep exploring, and I will see you with Marco on the road. Peace. Something else you might not know about me. I can kind of play the guitar and I can kind of sing. I still haven't really cracked it. I'm going to keep practicing and then maybe put up a little like freestyle song thing. I did one about almond milk. Almond milk, how do you come out of an almond? Because almonds don't have nipples, no. It's kind of hard to milk nut, but supposedly it's better than dairy. Almond milk, oh yeah. In my intelligentsia, coffee's so fucking hipster LA.